for you today on what's brewing. Jumbo Tail bagged 75 crore rupees from Ulterior Capital and Innovin Capital in a venture debt round. The online B2B marketplace plans to invest these funds into building deep sourcing capabilities and AI-driven technologies. My colleague Ritu Singh caught up with Ashish Jinnah, the co-founder and CEO of Jumbo Tail, to find out more about their fundraise and began by asking them about the rationale behind choosing the debt route. Take a look. Our view on on capital, right? At the end of the day, uh, we are, we are firm believers in the fact that you know capital doesn't make a business. Uh, capital is a use, useful means to an end. And as a company, we are always we should always be uh, looking for various sources of capital, and more importantly, various partners that can actually be on this journey and help us build a large, meaningful business. Uh, I think in Alteria and Innovin, we found great partners. Alteria has already been uh, you know we've already worked with Alteria, and we're happy to see them doubling down. Uh, very happy to see Innovin uh, joining us on this journey. For us, it's about you know finding as many good partners uh, to join us on this journey, and you know any business of any scale in this ecosystem uh, must must work with a combination of different capital sources, including debt, and that's that's why we we chose to make that decision. Mm. All right, uh, fair enough. You're looking at partners uh, more than the mode of funding itself, but you know how do you plan to use this 75 crores now that you raised it? Uh, you said you want to add about 400,000 retailers on your platform, achieve 80% penetration in your market. How do you plan to go about this? So, Ritu, we've uh, we've been through a phase of pretty significant uh, growth and expansion over the last two and a half years. You know, we we were for the we're about a seven and a half year old company. Mm. Uh, for the first five and a half years of the company, we were largely in Bangalore. You know, figuring out the the business model, we're taking a very different view of this compared to most other people in this ecosystem. And then over the last two and a half, two two and a half years, we went from one city to fifty plus cities, two hundred you know thirty thousand retailers to two hundred fifty thousand retailers. And the goal over the next year now is to keep going deeper into those cities. Uh, these cities actually account for, you know, have a population of perhaps you know, close to 200 million people. Uh, and so the goal right now is to go and, you know, add more Kiranas in those cities itself, go deeper. Uh, this is also something that helps us, uh, you know, hit unit economic profitability faster. The goal is to have the entire, uh, you know, business, uh, you know, operation, fully operationally profitable. A third of the business is already there. Uh, and therefore, you know, the goal is to go just deeper and uh, you know, invest in sourcing, invest in, uh, you know, uh, category teams, product management, uh, you know, build AI ML capabilities to actually share deep and share a wallet. Uh, and also to actually, you know, uh, build build yeah. marketing capabilities that convey our message to, to the retailers on the platform. You're betting on this Kirana space at a time when, you know, we're seeing an increasing trend of online grocery, big posts, uh, uh, retail, you know, replacing some of these stores. Uh, what gives you the confidence you'll be able to achieve this? And will you be able to continue with this kind of a growth uh, given the current environment? So, uh, Ritu, I think that uh, the Kiranas have always been the linchpins of India's food and grocery consumption. Nearly 90, 95% of all consumption in this ecosystem flows through the Kirana ecosystem today. Uh, we believe, uh, we've always believed, uh, you know, throughout the course of this history, uh, of the history of this company, that Kiranas will continue to be uh, the primary mechanism by which consumers in our country consume. Uh, we therefore believe that uh, the goals we've set for ourselves, not just in the short term, but for the long term, are the best way for uh, you know, l large numbers of brands to actually reach thousands of brands to be created in this country. Uh, consumers want more uh, more brands. They mm. they have an appetite for more more consumption. Uh, and the best, the biggest, uh, the most efficient way to do that is through the Kirana ecosystem. And that's the business that we are building. We feel very confident in our ability to build uh, build, build a very large uh, business in that in that space. All right. So Kirana stores aren't going anywhere. Ashish, you're betting They're your business on that. Absolutely not going anywhere. Kiranas are the kings. All right. Uh, you know, if you say so, Kiranas are the kings uh, of this ecosystem. The food and grocery market itself in India, it's pegged at 350-odd billion dollars of an opportunity. But then you also have a lot of competition in the space, whether it is startups like Shop Kirana or the likes of Big Basket or players with deeper pockets like Reliance, Geo, Amazon and whatnot. Uh, there is significant competition. Uh, what do you think sets you apart and what kind of market share can you capture? Today, uh, Ritu, uh, there are uh, you know some people who claim it's six hundred billion dollars projected to go to a trillion dollars. It is the largest market in this in, in the in the country. Uh, we believe that uh, you know based on what we've built, uh, this is the most frugal business. We built the largest today, by the way, Jumbo Tail. Uh, when it comes to true e-commerce, uh, mm -hmm. where you know uh, retailers are coming to the app and placing orders and and fulfillment happening through 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 an e-commerce platform, uh, not not necessarily Salesforce on the ground. Jumbo Tail is the largest part, uh, largest player in this ecosystem, not just in India, but in the world. Uh, it's also the lowest cost supply chain, the highest NPS supply chain. Uh, we believe, you know, in a market this large, it would be obvious that you would have a lot of uh, players. 
uh, typical Kirana buys from 150 to two, you know, 150 players at one point in time. Uh, but if you actually look at our, uh, ma you know, major cities, uh, you know, nearly 80% of our revenues come from retailers where uh, they buy, you know, nearly 20, 20, 20 to 30% of that uh, overall buying from us. And we believe, therefore, uh, given the positioning that we have, which is always available, uh, highly convenient, uh, only through app, we're the only platform in the country and perhaps the world that only has 100% of orders coming through the app and the lowest cost, highest reliability supply chain in this ecosystem. Mm -hmm. We're well placed to be, uh, you know, not only the largest player, which we are today, but to continue to, you know, uh, lead in this ecosystem. And that's what we're doubling down over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. Meanwhile, Lumikai India's first gaming and interactive media VC has evaluated 1,300 plus deals in the e 